When you call out the name of the industry or the type of person who used your services, people's ears are going to prick up. They're going to tune in because they'll start to wonder if that same service you provided that person in their industry will work for them too. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Master Your Business podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Martin. I know you are short on time and you're juggling all the hats in your business and based on all the feedback, amazing feedback, thank you so much, from episode 15, Social Media Therapy, How to Cure Your Marketing Woes and Stop Screaming into the Void. I am up in my game today to help you out a little bit more. So whether you're short on time and or short on inspiration, these three frameworks I'm going to share with you today will help you create engaging content that make you look like a seasoned pro. Before I jump into the frameworks, these three amazing frameworks, I want you to imagine something. Imagine an industry expert that you admire and just picture them showing up consistently on your favorite social media platform and posting things that are like, buy from me. We're great. We can do X, Y, and Z. And the next post, they say, buy from me. We're great. We can do X, Y, and Z. What's going to happen? He'll probably end up muting them or unfollowing them because they'll have essentially repelled you by selling to you all of the time. It's icky. And that's what can create the sense of feeling like a sleazy salesperson from your marketing. Now, I know you're not doing that. I really do. But there are people out there who are. And so what I want you to know is that when you're creating content or writing captions, the idea is to keep people's curiosity piqued by enlightening them or being funny and adding humor to their lives so that they engage with you regularly. They're engaging with your content and ultimately go on to become paying customers. That won't happen if you are repelling them by selling all of the time. So these three frameworks will help you take your content to the next level and add some variety so your audience remain engaged and yeah, let them know what services you provide so you still come across as a thought leader. You're saying you're open for business and that you're the most viable person to do business with, but only when they're ready to buy. Okay, here we go. Framework number one, the curiosity spark. This framework is all about capturing your audience's attention and sparking their curiosity. The idea is to craft posts or a carousel or a video, whatever it is, that shares an intriguing fact or a statistic or piece of information that creates a paradigm shift or has a really captivating headline or hook and then that invites your audience to learn more. Now, I know you're going to want a pen and paper or the notes app on your phone open for these frameworks, but don't worry, I've got you covered because I've added these into the show notes where you can go and copy and paste them or save the show notes for your next day of content creation. Right, well, here is the simple formula to follow to create a curiosity spark. Share a surprising factor statistic. Ask a question to engage your audience and then include a call to action where they can learn more or share their thoughts. So, for example, you could post a surprising statistic about your industry, followed by a question like, did you know that? And put in the statistic and then asking, what are your thoughts on this? So this invites your audience to engage with the post and to learn more about the topic that you've basically create a curiosity about. I created a post like this late last year. I must do another one soon. Anyway, when I created this post, it went a little like this and it got a really good bit of traction. It was a graphic that said something along the lines of, did you know you can apply for financial support twice to update your website in Ireland? And in the captions, then I gave the information about it about how to apply for it or what was eligible and so on. And then the call to action was to get in touch with me to learn more. That resulted in about 12 direct messages, loads of comments and engagements on the post and two sales calls. Amazing, right? Okay, framework number two, 
the testimonial spotlight. Testimonials are a form of social proof. Why? Well, people will believe what other people say about you more than they'll believe what you say about yourself. Okay? Take a moment and digest that. People will believe what other people say about you quicker and easier than they'll believe what you say about yourself. Like, for example, if a friend tells you that, you know, check out the Master Your Business podcast because it's amazing and Dear to Share is loads of amazing tips and tricks and she gets the best guests on the show, well, then they're going to tune in. So, you know, if you're listening and you're thinking, actually, this is an action pack show, <laughs> please go and do that, right? Because that's social proof. Social proof is an incredibly powerful tool for building trust and credibility. And this framework, basically, it helps you showcase positive testimonials in a way that feels genuine and engaging. So here's the formula. Share a quote or a snippet from a glowing customer testimonial and context about the service that your customer is raving about. And then invite your audience to share their own experiences or ask questions about your services. So for example, you could post a quote from a happy customer who recently availed of your new service, along with a brief description of how it worked or what happened with, with them and ask a question like, have you tried our new whatever your service is yet? And then share your experience in the comments. So you're asking others to comment if they've tried it. And again, this was something I did recently. I was with one of my newer clients, amazing company. They're a financial brokerage. And we just spent two days workshop in the first step of my BMC method. I went around the room at the end of the two days and I asked them, okay, so what was your main takeaway from the last 24 or 48 hours? And I wrote down little snippets of everything that they said in their comments. And then in a social media post, I took six snippets of their comments along with a selfie of me and all of the team in the background. And then I included on my social media post what my BMC method is. And then my call to action in the post is that I'm looking for three clients to start working together in the next few weeks. And if that's you, DM me the word BMC. Again, a great way to show social proof because it's not like you're going to share a picture of a whole group of people there <laughs> or make up stories about what this group of people said and tag them in that exact post if the testimonial was not true, right? See where I go with this? I have heard recently about multiple people who ha have made up testimonials. Do not do that. Never do that. Okay, you're better off to have no testimonials than to make stuff up, seriously. People will find out eventually if you're making up rubbish like that. Do not do that. I can't emphasize it enough. So when you share testimonials like this, as in the right way, the other benefit of this is that when you call out the name of the industry or the type of person who used your services people's ears are going to prick up. They're going to tune in because they'll start to wonder if that same service you provided that person in their industry will work for them too. Makes sense, right? Okay, lastly, framework number three, the behind the scenes peak. People love getting an insider's look at the business that they follow or admire. And in episode 15, I mentioned an article by HubSpot and Brandwatch that talked about relatable content being number one on the agenda for social media. So this framework helps you create engaging behind the scenes content that humanizes your brand and strengthens your connection with your audience because it's relatable. So here's the formula. Share a photo or a video of something interesting that's happening behind the scenes at your business. And then provide a brief caption that gives context or tells a story. Invite your audience to engage again by asking a question or encouraging them to share their thoughts. So for example, you could post a photo of you or your team working on a new project, along with a caption that shares a fun anecdote or interesting fact about what the project is. And then ask a question like, what projects are you working on right now? Or what's your favorite part of the creative process? Again, one that worked well for me a little while ago was a picture of me in a hotel. The caption was about, I had been at a networking event the day before, and I 
wrote a caption where I confessed that I'm a reluctant networker. True story. I really am. As I'm even talking about this, I'm like, I need to take a picture of me recording my podcast and post that on social media (laughs) because that's a behind the scenes pic, right? Anyway, uh, it was crazy. This picture in the hotel, it was crazy how many people related to the story and didn't know how I felt about networking. Anyways, I won't bore you with too much detail, but my call to action on this one was, do you like networking? And if so, why? And if not, why not? And again, this got tons of engagement and interaction. Basically, why? Because people related to it. So the moral of the story with these is that you don't need to be selling all of the time. Sometimes just getting people to engage with you will pique that curiosity. It will help inspire them and keep them motivated. They'll be engaged in your content. And if they're engaged in your content, the next time they need that service that you offer, they're going to think about you because you're showing up consistently. And like I said, because I know you're short on time, you might want to check out the episode and free training I did on ChatGPT, the rise of the machines. I'll post the details in the show notes for you to check it out because it will save you so much time and oh, so much more. Anyway, that's it in a nutshell, folks. Three easy plug and play social media frameworks to help you create engaging content that makes you look like a pro, even if you're not. Your secret safe with me. Remember, the key to success on social media is consistency, authenticity, no bogus testimonials, and engagement. So these frameworks are just a starting point. Think of them as experiments and go out there, try and find your own unique style. Find out what works for you, what works for your audience. Thank you for tuning into the show as always and joining me on this episode of the Master Your Business podcast. I'm your host, Deirdre Martin. I really hope that you found today's episode helpful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, leave a review and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep mastering your business. Bye for now.